Hi, I'm Freddy from the Vaccines, and you're watching Roland and Boss TV. He's in. Freddy, I've pressed the on button on the yeah. camera, which means we're now filming. Professional. Which we weren't before. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for joining us today to show us around your new amp. Yeah, thank you very much for the amp. You're welcome. It's the Cube ATXL. Um, what are your thoughts initially? Um, well, I use a lot of effects, so for me, this kind of thing is absolutely perfect to have in the dressing room. Although it is pretty pretty loud. Yeah. I mean, basically for me, um, using a lot of effects, and obviously you don't have in the dressing room all your gears on stage, um, so you have an acoustic, and for me that's not really much good to warm up, because a lot of the delays and stuff, the, like the way you play, it's about the timings and stuff. So it has a great tap function. So I, I have a pedal on stage where I always tap in the tempo yeah. to pee on a song, uh, Lack of Understanding. So you tap it in, and a really kind of clean delay function, a little bit of chorus good reverb on it. And you get like a really nice clean Also, when I play, I use a lot of loops, uh, octave loops, and um, things that kind of create a bed for the other guitar lines. Sure. Uh, and so this is really, really good to do that too. Um, so you whack the reverb up. Got a great octave function on it. Um, so, uh, so one of the things I do live is I make loops and then play over the top of them to kind of create like a bigger sound. And you can do that really easily on this. You stick on the looper, get it there. You play the part you want to play. And you can turn up the looper there. And just play straight over the top of it. feature um, which I think is really fun to do when you're kind of playing by yourself or it just has a really nice sound, like a really good organ sound and it's not complicated, it's just one switch on it. Uh -huh. um, and I have it on the Brit combo because I use an AC30. So.
I mean, the reason why I wanted one of these is because I used a lot of effects and, and to tour with. And how many effects has this got? Oats. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you see here that every single one of these knobs is a different pedal, essentially. Yeah. And then I guess even if you use half of them, that's still. 20 pedals you go to tour with so to have it in one box is um and what would be the kind of thing that you would be using on here um I guess everything no actually not everything if I'm really honest I wouldn't use the amp functions because I've got good amps uh -huh. so I'd use that as an EQ which is pretty handy because I've got one here sure um, uh, I don't think I'd use the overdrives much but things like Modulations, delays, and the reverbs, and the octaves, even like the harmonizer, just like getting to grips with stuff like that yeah. for the first time. Which is the first time I know how to use it. This is using the, the harmonist for the first time ever. It's kind of cool. It's a great sound. I don't know how it's doing that because I'm playing a D. It's definitely not a D. Which is good because if um if I was playing around on someone else's pedal, and I got that sound. I have to go and buy it. So you don't need to now. I don't need to now. I can